Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is actually gonna be the fourth video in my little LASIK journey installment. I'm here with Dr. Morrow today. So the first video that I came out in this installment is the reasons why I was getting LASIK, how I found Dr. Morrow, how I found North Shore Eye, and why I decided to come here. The second video is like the vlog style of me actually getting the procedure done. And the third video was me actually updating you guys and letting you guys know my thoughts. So in this video, Dr. Morrow was kind enough to sit down with me and he's gonna be answering the questions that you guys sent in. I have 10 questions here on my phone. It's very casual, laid back style. I'm just gonna read them off and Dr. Morrow is gonna let us know the answers. So are you all set? Yep. Okay, so number one, and this one got questioned a lot. How long has LASIK eye surgery been around and has it improved in the recent years? LASIK surgery has been around for over 20 years. Uh, recent advances in what we call wavefront technology has given us the ability to achieve better vision, even better vision than with your glasses or contact lenses. Okay. Number two, can LASIK treat nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism? LASIK treats all three. Okay. Um, that's the whole purpose of getting you great vision. You have to be able to treat astigmatism, and there are patients who have nearsightedness and patients who have farsightedness. So that means, does treat all three. yeah, whether you don't see good close up, far away, I have an astigmatism, so it treats everything. So number three is how much downtime is there? Usually I tell most LASIK patients, uh, take a few days off, but most patients after a day, they usually wind up going back to work. I was one of those patients that didn't really take the doctor's advice too much. By the very next day, I woke up feeling perfect and I felt like if I did work a normal nine to five job that I probably would have been in the office that day. But to be honest with you guys, by the very next day, I felt 100% back to myself. I didn't feel like I had to lay in bed the entire next day. Um, after the surgery that day, I did relax and stay in bed, but the very next day, I was good. So you're supposed to stay in bed, you know, maybe not, up to two days. You don't days, have to stay in bed. I think you can basically stay home. And it's just that, easy. you know, just take it easy, just take a day off, just yeah. relax. But you're not going to have to have like a nurse or someone to take care of you at home. No, you're going to no feel way. perfectly normal by the next morning. Yes. Okay, so number four, and this was a question that I had when I first came here, is is there an actual blade that cuts the eye? How was the procedure actually performed? There are no blades. Well, they used to use blade technology, but since the advance in what we call the femtosecond laser, which is what is also known as eye LASIK, where the whole procedure is done via laser. There are no, no more blades. There are certain doctors that still perform uh, bladed LASIK surgery, but most, um, cataract, most LASIK surgeons uh, who do a lot of LASIK surgery are pretty much doing mostly bladeless Mm -hmm. uh, LASIK surgery. So, and you explained to me that it's like a gas. It's not an actual like yeah, scalpel it's, it's, that's it's not a scalpel. It's not a bleed. Right. It's basically it's gases that react with your cornea, mm -hmm. and they actually create that the incision or the flap that needed to um, to perform LASIK surgery. Okay, so it's not done with a little knife. There are no it's blades. All gas. No knives, no blades. Okay. All right. So number five is how long does the actual procedure take, and is there any anesthesia? Well, the procedure usually takes, I tell patients, five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we use special numbing drops which actually numb your eye. So there's really no significant pain. Sometimes patients will experience a little pressure sensation. Some patients will tell me it feels weird. But the procedure is actually pretty fast. It goes by. Yeah, I know that I didn't feel anything. I even, I didn't even really feel the pressure. I spoke about in my update video how I asked you at one point if my eye was even open. And that's telling you guys that if I didn't even know if my eyeball was open, you don't it's, feel It's anything. tough because your eye is so numb, you don't yeah. really feel too much. Yeah, you don't have the sensation of blink, you don't feel the actual exactly. thing that's holding your eyeball open. Everything is completely numb. Exactly. Um, also, for our really nervous patients, um, we're gi we give patients the option of taking Xanax that we give to you here prior to the surgery. And, and a lot of patients, they find that it helps. It definitely relaxes the patients nerves. enough so sometimes it's, it's normal to be a little nervous and have a little anxiety before surgery so I find that the, the, taking a little bit of the Xanax helps a lot okay. and of course patients have the right to decline that yeah uh, but you know it works sometimes okay. and For it the works well yeah. okay cool. all right so number six is how about down the line will I ever have to get LASIK again like I tell most patients there's always a chance you may need an enhancement or what we call a touch-up usually in our practice the probability of that is usually five to eight okay. percent and usually most LASIK practices, like our practice, offer a lifetime commitment, mm -hmm. 
which basically means the enhancements are covered under the initial procedure. Right. So they're they're free. You don't pay. Yeah. If you ever extra. have to come back, it's free of charge anyway. And at that five to eight percent amount, of people have to come back. It happens, it's but it's slim. not often. So again, it's, it goes it's back to a the lifetime thing. Yes. It Even is a when you're in your eighties. Well, I mean, you may need something else in the 80s. You probably have cataract mm -hmm. surgery by right. then. But not LASIK. But not LASIK yet. And we also spoke about how you guys overcorrect depending on your age. Because I know I said I'm in my 20s. My vision is probably going to get worse down the line. And well, sometimes, you guys yeah. mm -hmm. know what you're doing to fix it so that even when I'm in my you know, 40s and older, my vision was going to get worse, that so you kind of overcorrect it. Yeah, everyone's surgeon is different. And it goes by, the calculations go by the age of the patient. So everybody's, everyone's prescription is specific to them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we'll calculate a prescription and sometimes the prescription will be different than what your prescription is in your glasses in order to take into account any potential changes that might occur in the future. Okay, makes sense. So number seven, and this is a big one, what are the possible complications or side effects? That's a very good question. Uh, like any, like most eye surgeries, you know, potential complications are dryness, infection, inflammation, scarring, and sometimes seeing glare and halos. Mm -hmm. And most people, or I, I should just speak for myself, I did not have any type of side effects. A lot of people warned me about the dryness in the eyes, um, the nighttime driving was going to be difficult, seeing halos, and I honestly, honest to God, have had no side effects. My eyes feel the same way that I did before I had surgery. So I guess it it's different for every single most, patient. Most patients do very well, yeah. but some patients will experience a little glare and halos right. specifically during the first few weeks after surgery. Surgery. And that's just like with any surgery. Yes, in most surgeries, and especially dryness. Dryness is kind of par for the course. That's why we use uh, very strong antibiotic drops, anti-inflammatory drops, mm -hmm. and we use a lot of uh, artificial tears lubricating drops uh, during the first couple of weeks after your surgery. Okay. So number eight, I know that there's a lot of young viewers out there. They want to know, um, is there an age requirement to be able to have this surgery? Yeah, according to the FDA, you have to be an adult. You have to be 18 years or older. Okay. So 18 is good to come in. Yeah. Okay. And with a stable prescription as well. Okay. Yeah. You know, if you don't, you can be over 18, but you have to have a stable prescription. Okay. Got it. And that kind of goes into the last question, which is, are all patients who wear glasses or contacts a candidate for LASIK? Well, no, because you know, it's not really based on your prescription. You know, when you come in and you know, before you have LASIK surgery, you get what we call a LASIK evaluation. And we do a lot of tests in our office to determine if you are a candidate for LASIK surgery. All right guys, and that is all the questions that you guys sent in for Dr. Morrow. I'm gonna put all the information down below. Dr. Morrow works out of the Smithtown location of North Shore Eye, um, but there are a lot of locations. Is it only in Long Island or is there any in the- Yeah, we have locations in mainly in Nassau and stuff. Okay, County. so I will also put the information down below for the locations, for the offices, so you can find one near you. And also, there is a monthly seminar that is hold. There is one coming up in two weeks from now. If you guys want to come in and ask the doctor questions on your own, that is why I was so interested in coming into this office in the first place. It's kind of not as nerve wracking to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's done in a group setting. I think there's what normally average of 30 people that show yeah, up. It depends. Also, since we started doing the live LASIK surgery, oh, uh, and that. patients tend to appreciate that a lot. They kind of went behind the scenes and we were able to watch an actual surgery in real time being performed in the office. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I will post all the information down below and as well as all the videos in this LASIK journey series. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you, Dr. Morrow, for taking the time to answer our no questions. Problem. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.